Tom here from Lauren Systems, and TOTP is a great way for having second factor authentication. It doesn't require any actual online connection. It works off of knowing a shared secret and the common agreement on what time it is. That's an important thing about how TOTP works. I've got videos now linked down below where I've talked about how it works. It's not hard to look up the documentation. It's an open protocol. It's easy to implement. It's widely implemented. And Google Authenticator is a really popular way to store this on your phone, except I don't use Google Authenticator because he didn't have a way to back up. But then Google Authenticator updated and he finally finally have backups, except, you know, it didn't take long for security researchers to look at it and go, hey, where's the encrypted vault? This is a huge problem, in my opinion. Google did address it in a tweet back and forth that said they plan on a future where they fix this. Well, I live in the reality of here and now where that's not fixed. Therefore, it's still not something I'm going to recommend unless you're not that security conscious. You're not as worried about someone getting into your Google account and copying all those codes. I would worry about that. And that is kind of a problem for me. This is why I use Aegis, A-E-G-I-S. It is a free and open source app that can run on your Android phone. It's available in the Google Play Store. It's available on F-Droid. You can silo it if you want. Sorry, iPhone users, it's not available for you. But if you're using an Android phone, Aegis is an excellent app. It has no tracking or ads. The vault is encrypted with AES 256 GCM and can be unlocked with either password or biometrics. The encrypted vault can be backed up but encrypted vault can be backed up. That's an important phrasing I used on there. So it's not just backing it up. You set a password to encrypt it and then you can back it up. That's really important because if you're not backing it up and someone gets a hold of that vault, they now have all your TOTP. Now it has a couple of really cool features. It's obviously an app that's going to support your standard HOTP and TOTP, but it also has the ability to take a QR code and reproduce it. So you can scan like you do with other apps. You can put the code in manually, but the ability to reproduce the QR code to me is just really clever because this allows you to, let's say, share it with a friend. And you're probably thinking, why would you share TOTP with a friend? Well, that's actually a really interesting use case that comes up a lot more than you think because some apps may not have multi-user setup, but let's say you would like to share a password in your favorite password manager, mine being Bitwarden, and then have that TOTP somewhere that's not Bitwarden and you didn't have that person there to scan the QR code on the screen when it was produced, well, then you can share that with another person right from the app. I just think that's kind of a neat feature. And obviously it's up to you to want to do this. It's not like it just shares automatically, but it's a really simple app. I didn't want to just come here and dump on Google Authenticator and then not offer you a solution is why I suggested Aegis, but I still think Google Authenticator probably has a use case for people who are more the average user, but I think a lot of people to follow my channel are probably more security conscious and you might be interested in an app like Aegis. Nonetheless, that's all I have to say. I'll leave links to the things I mentioned down below. Of course, the Aegis app itself, their GitHub, you can you know look through all the source code being that it's open source and I'd like to hear your comments on maybe your favorite app that you use for TOTP. Nonetheless, leave your comments down below or head over to my forums for a more in-depth discussion. Also, like and subscribe and do all those fun things because it definitely helps me out and getting my videos out there and helps the YouTube algorithm. Thanks.